up guys, uh, Heat King here bringing you a live reaction to this week's uh, Black Clover. Is it this week? I think it came out yesterday. Chapter 354. I don't remember what the last chapter was that I did. It's been a while since I've done, re you know, chapter reactions. But I thought it was time to get into it. You know, it's been like a month, maybe more. So, you know, let's, let's, let's kill some time, right? So where did we leave off? They killed the dragon. They killed. They defeated the dragon. Uh, unlike the spirit guardians, who were uh, utterly useless in the Spade Kingdom arc, um, the uh, Raizu Seven actually provided aid and help enough to give Asta a chance to kill the dragon. Along with what's his name, uh, Rai Raizu? Is it Raizu? Uh, you know, he's got like the freaking Shurik God sort of eye that he has. Like, so that was that was pretty cool. That was dope. And then we got this little scene where they're celebrating, they're partying, you know, your sort of typical victory chapter, you know, slice of life after everything sort of calmed down. And uh, yeah, you get this little moment where Asta is going for a little bathtub in the in the springs and then he runs into a naked uh, Ichi guy, is it? So yeah, he runs out embarrassed. So yeah, and then we ended up with, I guess he's going to train more apparently. And then of course, let's not forget Judgment Day is like three days, so Lucius is going to begin his big plans in that time. So yeah, we're going to we're gonna start with this chapter then, chapter 354, remember to like and subscribe guys, please, and yeah, as always, uh, let's get right into the thick of things then. So yeah, we're starting off with Lucius, okay, so we're going back to the Clover Kingdom, the footsteps bring impending doom, well then, so we got some, uh, who was that, there's, there's like three other people with him there. They managed to stop what three of the three of these paladins in the in the Rising Sun Kingdom. So yeah, one of those being Sister Lily. So yeah, they're they're, they're out of commission now, I guess. So there's like he's got three more, I guess. Judgment Day has arrived. So let us take the first step. Judgment Day. So the chapter's called Judgment Day. So wait, does this does this mean that it's already been three days? Is it three days late already? That's or is this one of the? Hmm. Okay, let's take the first step towards true world peace. So yeah, we're definitely in the Clover Kingdom here. And then we got four, no, we got five characters on a rooftop. Uh, it's the captains. Uh, let's see, we got, we definitely got, we got Charlotte, Yami, uh, Jack, is that uh, William Vengeance? And I think that's Yuno coming down. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Is that my, got one of those headphones where you just press the button and the music plays. New. No. No, not allowed. So yeah, uh, and there's citizens as well down below. What is going on there? Each group is now in place. So Yuno's coming down talking to Vengeance. All the citizens have been evacuated to the Noble Realm. Our, per our, our perimeters are fortified. Perimeters? Fortified what? And then we got the... Uh, oh, we got the... What are these people? Uh, we got the Heart Kingdom there, I think. We got and the Spirit Guardians. Uh, we got the, you know, the Queen, Lyra beach guy what was her name and i think that's yuno's mom maybe as well with the spade kingdom guys we've alerted the neighboring countries to ensure they remain vigilant oh no so this is we're just getting shots of them from different countries okay so that's the hard and that's the spade no diamond yet no diamond we're gonna get diamond kingdom guys this is the final arc we're definitely 100 percent gonna get the diamond kingdom arc oh and that's chapter was it as well i think they they mentioned something about the the, the goddess of food and it resembled uh, uh charmy so there's, there's definitely a tie in there, like, uh, like, Tabo is definitely going to do something to bring this all together. I've been saying, I've been saying for a while now, there's, something's going to go up with that, like, uh, we're going to, we're going to get our backstory, we're going to get the, the dwarves, we're going to get the uh, Earth Spirit, we're going to get all of that, we're going to get all of that, but it's just, it's building up toward it, so, but for now, I'm enjoying the ride for this, like, I'm enjoying where this is all going, and I'm, yeah, I'm curious to see where this chapter is going, so yeah, we got William and Yuno, unfortunately, we were unable to find any trace of Lucius. Our only choice is to wait for the enemy to come to us and face them. I'm going to try and do voiceovers now for this one of our read characters' voices, you know. Um, we got Meryl there, Queen Meryl, my beautiful Queen and Meryl Leo, with her brother there. No Leopold. Leopold is missing again. He's gone, but we got Fergolio. Fergolio? I mean, I've not seen the anime in a, in like a good few years, and, uh, uh, and obviously... Not reading this properly, back to back. I'm, mis I'm, 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 I'm forgetting a lot of the characters' names. We got uh, no Noel's siblings there as well. Noswell, is it? Noswell? I don't know the other the, the other names of the others. They're the twins, right? Aren't they? 
uh, with every single one of our magic knights. And then we got, yeah, we got those guys. And then we got, uh, what's his name? The painter. See, I don't know their names. I'm forgetting already. Yami, may I have a word? And it's okay, so Charlotte wanting to talk to him. How, well, how do you put this? I'd like to apologi apologize for avoiding you recently. I will set aside my personal feelings during this battle and fulfill my duty. That's all I wanted to say. The hell's with that? Nobody's worried about that kind of stuff. You'll always be my comrade on the battlefield, prickly queen. Gah. Well, once this battle's over and done with, we should grab a drink, though alcohol's probably a no-go for you, huh? Oh, he's asking her out! He's asking her out! I've got something I'd like to talk to you about. So how about we chat over a cup of tea instead? And she's like, oh, she's get, she's blushing a bit. She's like, okay, so yeah, we're, they're developing this, developing this little romance here, so that's nice. We'll win this, and then I'll hear you out. Okay. So that's Charlotte's answer. Now we're going to Jack. Yeah, show up already. I'm dying to rip you to shreds. Jack Jack definitely feels like he, he's got like that kabuchi sort of uh, personality, you know, like uh, from Bleach. Including the scars and that, you know, he's a fun character. And there's a big, sh there's a big light that comes down from the heavens behind Jack. And there's Lucius in all his glory. Greetings, everyone. Lucius, oh, something's happened. What's happened? Oh, oh, Noct is with him. That's that's uh, that's that's an unexpected development. Noct is with him. Why is well, Knight, if you will, is with him? What? I was just thinking about how I hadn't seen you around Nacht, Nacht, you bastard. So, he already messed with you. No, he's, he's what? Yep, he's a paladin. Nacht, 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 Nacht. It's German for night. Nacht is, is a paladin. Freaking four wings, got like freaking four horns coming out of his head. And he just goes right into Jack and he kills him. No, that's death. Okay, uh, his hand's gone. He's got a horny stomach. He's dead. Light. Light magic, yeah, he just pierced him with light magic. He uses shadow magic, doesn't he? So he's using light. Mor Morgan? Morgan, hello, Yami. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Morgan? I'm confused. I'm confused. Is that Nacht or is that Morgan? What? So wait, is that his brother? Did he just resurrect a dead character? Is that what this is? Is that what's going on? He resurrected, he resurrected Nacht's brother. That's what his name was, wasn't it? Mor Morgan, yeah? Morgan. No, it's not Mor- Yeah, Mor Morgan. Morgan. Morgan? Yeah. Yeah, that's the brother. That's not Nacht. That's that's him. That's the brother. That's, yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. And, like, yeah, he's confronting them a lot. He's confronting them for them. And then, who's, who's this? Is this Nacht as well? You, uh... Is this someone else? Like, there's some dude with, like, giant hand tentacles thing. Coming out now as well, like, he's got a halo on his head, he's got, like, horns, horns, like, go, horns going, like, that way, is that, I, I can't tell, like, if this is him transformed or if this is someone else. You are fortunate indeed to feel my touch, to be fundam, uh, foundational in involving magic signs before you are reborn. Even if this gets a little rough, frying you is gonna be fun. So, no, I'm confused. I'm so confused. Find you, and then what's going on here? There, there's no, uh, what's his name? No, knows well, can't be the sisters. Okay, who's that? Let's come back to life. Oh, is that their mother? Okay, it looks like Noel, but it's not Noel. It's their mother. So yeah, he's resurrected Morgan, and he's resurrected Noel's and the siblings' mother. I would never would have expected to be fighting you all like this. Oh wow. Oh wow, this is such an unexpected... Yeah, mother, oh my god, this is such an unexpected development. So, the, he's bringing back all the dead characters, this guy. So there's more lights forming, kids are pointing out an angel. How do they know what angels are? I thought I thought, I thought, thought Lucius was like meant to be like the first angel or something. So yeah, that was big heavy light. I love how this camera keeps turning off when I'm getting near the end. So yeah, the, uh, the light... Dozens of lights are piercing the Clover Kingdom. There's a bunch of things flying in the sky that look like angels. And yeah, and, there's, uh, and it ends with Lucius. Now then, let us grace this world with happiness. The divine light signals the apocalypse. Uh, front cover and colour page to celebrate the manga's 8th anniversary next issue. So, interesting development then. He's brought back dead characters. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh, you have to wonder, guys. Does that mean he's going to bring... Yeah, he definitely is. He's definitely going to bring... He's definitely going to bring Asta's mum back to life. He's definitely going to bring her back to life, and we're going to get this Asta Leap reunion with their mother. It's going to happen. That is so going to happen. You know he's going to do that. Like, I would do that now, like, with this. Like, this is crazy. So, Zorin. 
Zoran maybe like if you want to get more Zoran action bringing his dad back as well like there's so much potential now like of bringing certain dead characters back to mess with the main characters and the emotional state this is a brilliant turn of events but obviously it's something we've seen before Naruto did this with uh, with, with the fourth great ninja war with the Endo Tensai so this is very similar to that in a way but uh you know, at, at least with that, it was like, you sort of felt like that could happen because it was sort of set up early on in the series. With this, it's like, we've never seen a dead character, like, you know, literally a dead character come back to life. Like, so this is like, oh, this is unexpected. Like, this is, we've seen dead characters come back to life, technically. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, what was his name? Julius died and then he came back, technically, didn't he? So, but uh, I mean, I mean, literal dead characters that we already saw in flashbacks and that. So, yeah, interesting development, like... This is a very good development for the story. I'm curious to see where this goes and I'm curious to see how many dead characters are going to come back and who's going to be fighting who. So, very, very interesting development. Well done, Black Clover. Again, as always, Black Clover just doing it with the chapters. But yeah, I'm hoping this means that we're going to be sticking with the Clover Kingdom right now. Uh, and we're just going to get a few chapters with these guys fighting them and losing hardcore and maybe getting some different development. Because we need to go to the Diamond Kingdom now at this point. Like, uh... You know, we need to go, like, um, we need to see what's going on with there. We need to see if we're going to get allies from there. And Charming, she needs to get a backstory already. And we need to get the Earth Spirit as well. I'm telling you guys. Diamond Kingdom, Dwarfs in the Mines, giving those diamonds to the kingdom there. Uh, you know, they probably got a Guardian or Protector, Earth Spirit, Charmy's backstory. You know, she goes there, she meets her family, and finds out about herself, and she ends up finding out she's a princess or a goddess or something. Boom, there you go. You're killing multiple birds with one stone by doing that. Like, do it, do it, do it. Anyway. Good chapter, that's all I can really say. I liked it. Uh, can't wait for more. Hope you like that. And as always, guys, remember to like and subscribe. And I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and...